this makeup we're doing it first i'm adding some purple hair chalk just to the tips of my hair i'm gonna block my brows for this look but before i do so i'm gonna use the slashify prep to get rid of all the oil on my brows charlotte tilbury flawless filter house labs foundation this base is so pretty <laughs> Penciled on some thin brows. Started building up that dark purple crease. Now I'm gonna take a light purple all over the lid. Deepened up my crease, and now I'm using Pink Heart from the Anastasia Moonchild palette. Just working on that pink shift above the crease. Popping on that blue shift. Look how pretty this is. This shit is so sickening. Got my liner on. I'm about to work on the lower lash line, so I want to make sure that my concealer is placed so I can put makeup on top of it. You're going to want to take your white liner and wing it out underneath your black liner. Added the purple to the bottom, and next I'm going to go in with my black gel liner. Make sure you put this little ball at the head of the bottom liner. There's a point in every look where I'm like, okay, this is gonna come together and it's like the defining feature of the makeup and I'm surprised for this, I feel like it's this bottom eyeliner. Love it. Finishing up the base, I'm using Fenty Cream Bronzer and Butter Biscuit. Tower 28 blush in Rush Hour, super high up on the cheekbones. Setting with the Huda powder. Time for gemstones, my favorite part. Kiss lash glue always for gluing on the gemstones and you need a little grabber. This one just came in a little kit from like Hobby Lobby or Michaels for those rhinestone paintings. <laughs> she also has the three gems in the inner corner of her eye, so I popped those in. Taking the Madison Beer Fenty blush and adding a little bit of color back to my cheeks. To get that pink highlight, I'm using the Anastasia Moonchild in Pink Heart again. Max Soar Lip Liner and Kiko Milano Lip Gloss. I got dressed, took my hair down, and here is the final look. Bye!